This morning on our special series, Upgrade Your Home Today, we're helping you spruce up your garden. Chris Lampton is the host of Controlled Chaos, which premieres later this month on the Build Design Live Network Online. Chris, good to see you. Good morning. Good morning, Matt. How are you doing today? I'm great. If it weren't bad out there, we'd be doing this outside. Exactly. That's my story, and I'm sticking with it, That's right? That's true. It's true. All right. Most of these projects are fairly simple, but you say... When you take on anything like spring cleanup, you got to have a plan. Exactly. You want to plan out if you're installing a new bed or planting to an existing bed, you want to make sure you have the right plants for it. And I always say year-round color is the most important thing, and it starts with daffodils All for right. me. That's spring. Let's talk about potting some plants. What are the fundamentals, and why do you have plastic bottles? This takes up space in the bottom of the plant because usually when you're planting in these, it's annuals. They don't need that much room to grow. So you put the plastic bottles in the bottom. It makes it lighter, so if you want to move it around, it's easier to move. In my planting plan, it's the, the thriller, the filler, and the spiller. So the thriller in this case would be the pansies. We got the spiller over here. It's a variegated ivy. We have uh, ornamental grasses. You could even use things like uh, chives to put in there. For I think your, that's like a your, great your, idea. You don't your... need to fill the pot chock full of potting soil. Exactly, because that's only going to grow six to ten inches for, of root space. So you're just wasting half a pot of just pot, uh, potting mix. All right, most people look at these clay pots and they say that's the way they should be. Yep. You've kind of changed some up here with a little simple spray paint. So this is how these looked. Add a little indoor outdoor spray paint to them. You can change the color, make it match your front door, your shutters, whatever you want. And that's another way to add color to your front porch. And a lot of people living in parts of the country right now where the, the threat of frost is still very much real. Like around you here, You say get exactly. the garden started indoors and use an egg carton. And this is fun if you have kids too, to teach them the love of gardening. So here I planted, you can see my cucumbers, my zucchini are coming up. I got tomatoes right here. My lavender hasn't come up yet, but this is my entire garden. And again, I'm planting my garden with this. And this is cheap. It's just an egg container and it's like a little mini greenhouse. And the results are the same. You grow these kind of vegetables yes. starting out this way. Yeah, and you're gonna save money going from seed rather than buying a, a larger plant. All right, next we're going to talk about compost, yeah. which sounds like a little bit more of an involved process, this one a little messier. Thing. A no. lot of people say, I'll get someone else to do this for me. I love composting. You can do anything from your lint from your dryer, throw that right on in there. These are leaves and grass clippings. Your morning breakfast, right in there. Crush up the eggshells, it breaks down quicker. And most of these have a charcoal insert in them, so it helps with the smell. Once this is full, you bring it to the backyard and dump into a larger compost container. How long does it actually take for things like this to break down till it's ready to be used Great in the garden? Question. Six to 12 months. And okay. right now is when you want to start adding that compost to your garden, and that gives you all the nutrients that you need. In the spring, we talk about trimming. What things get trimmed in the spring versus the fall? All right, great question. So anything like a rhododendron or azalea, you don't trim those now because they actually have the buds of the flowers on them. But something like a hedgerow here, uh, if you have a holly bush, you can start trimming that now. Hedgerow, again, snip it down like this. You can get a nice design to it. If your holly is overgrown, now's the time where you want to prune it down, shape it, make sure any of these lower branches you, sh you cut down. You want a little space here so it can breathe, and those lower branches will hit the ground and actually root, and that will that will ruin your planting plant. All right, and finally, the question, to mulch or not to mulch? Uh, is this functional or aesthetic? This, it's both. So this mulch will break down and act as a compost in your garden, and as it breaks down, gives off that heat like compost does, so it'll actually stop weeds from growing. And here we have three different kinds. We have a pine mulch on one side, a darker mulch, and a hemlock. What so do you, you can prefer? change the color. This is all preference. I like the brown mulch. It looks more natural. It looks like dirt. And again, as this breaks down, it's going to give those nutrients to your garden. And it's that finishing touch and smells nice. Too. Chris, all good tips. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Yeah. Congratulations on the new program. Thank you very and much, Matt. you can get these tips at today.com slash home. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.